Physical overview of main components. The battery monitor unit has a small LCD located on the front of the unit with a standard three button menu navigation panel similar to early Xantrex Link and Link Pro units. The mini USB port on the front of the unit is used to connect to a PC and extract data logs just as you would do with a digital camera. The reset button is for rebooting the battery monitor or to clear the internal firmware. The bottom side of the unit has four ports for wiring as follows. There is one orange connector marked RJ45 for analog signals from the prescaler board. There are two white RJ45 connectors for XAN bus communications connections. There is one gray RJ11 connector for the battery temperature sensor. And there is a three position terminal block for the RS485 Modbus communication connection. The back of the device has two keyholes for wall mount. There is also a centrally located hole to mount a DIN rail clip and the installation of this clip will be covered later in this video. The prescaler board installs between the battery and battery monitor unit and scales the battery condition signals to pass them through the standard CAT5 communications cable used to connect these devices. A 500 amp 50 millivolt shunt rated for 350 amps of continuous current is also included in the package. The shunt has two studs for wiring the battery cables and two M4 screws for connections to be wired to the battery monitor. Planning the installation. The mounting location of the battery monitor unit, prescaler unit and the shunt should be determined before the installation begins. When determining the location of these three items, there are also three important considerations. First, the prescaler has three meters of wiring harness that should be installed in close proximity to the battery bank, preferably attached to the inside or the outside of the battery box. Second, the battery monitor can be installed away from the battery box to a more convenient accessible location, but it still must be within five meters of the total cable length. And finally, the shunt must be installed in line with a negative battery cable, preferably near the battery bank itself. If the battery current will exceed a peak of 500 amps, do not use the included shunt. A larger shunt will be required. See the Connects Battery Monitor Owner's Guide for additional shunt options.